Net. And the upper right in the red, will he go for Bio this time? We'll see, he is. Master, Maru Prime. Uh, and in the bottom left, he's been going Mech in all these games. Will he do it this time? He is. Master, Azubu Supernova. What's up, Artie? Talk to me. Well, I'm just, I've, it's been a pretty fun day of games, I have to say. Yeah. Some very different ones, but a lot of The Hive and Cheeses were fun. Yeah, that was. That I really was a very enjoyed fun that. Series. I know you did. That was. <laughs> you really enjoyed that one. I love that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we'll see what happens here. This is. Um, it's, I kind of feel like this matchup, which we could have started the day with. Mm. You know what I mean? Because out of all the matchups, this is probably the one that's least epic. Yeah. For these two? Yeah, I, I do agree with you there. There's not a huge storyline or a huge skill gap or anything like that. Right. So. Oh, well, looks like a gas first for Maru once again here. Rax first for Supernova. Yep. We'll have to see um, what Maru wants to do. I feel like Supernova just is going to keep mecking. Yeah. And defending. Yeah. Well, after mecking I think that map, yeah, I think that's. I think he's looking good. at this and he's like, well, if I don't make any mistakes for like you know the first mm -hmm. 12 minutes, I probably have already won. And I think he'd rather rely on his own skill rather than his opponent making mistakes. Whereas yeah. Whereas Maru is kind of. He's just his style is more like I'm going to get you to make mistakes. Yeah, it's interesting what we were talking about earlier. The, that prime uh, Terran style, just mm -hmm. lots of uh, they're very micro focused. It's it's a lot yeah. more tactics and a lot uh, and a lot less strategy. Yeah, except you know? for Dion, who's just a bunch of turtling. Yeah, well then there's Dion. That's true. Yeah, <laughs> well he's a special case. Yeah, but most of them actually because like he'll that. actually he'll do turtle micro. He'll he'll like just turtle, and then just go for a hundred ghosts and. Just like, well, I'll just micro these units now. Is it beyond when we cast games? He has statistically has the longest games. Yes, he does. It used to be happy, but it's actually beyond. How long are, was the average for his games? Was it like like forty seven minutes? It's something crazy. <laughs> no, it was. A I want to say it was like twenty eight minutes or something like that. God, like that's, that's so the much. average length of your games. That is so much on TV. Not even me or Hasuobs have games on average that long. <laughs> All right. Well, he's got the second refinery now. Looks like we could be having some Hellbat drops coming up here. Yeah, that would not be too too surprising. Hellbat drops are pretty good, I heard. And uh, hmm. again, if you're just now joining us, uh, this map is actually built off a real location <laughs> in uh, Busan, the second biggest city uh, in Korea, mm -hmm. southern port city. Yep. That bridge actually that's on the map here is actually very famous. <laughs> So uh, in Busan. Looks beautiful at night. A lot of fireworks uh, in the ocean during the summer. Yeah. When's the last time you were in Busan, actually? Whoa, hold that thought. I don't care about where the last time you were in Busan is because we had a proxy. Starport Artosis. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jason. No problem. Um, this is going to be interesting because depending on what Mario has, he could lose so many SCVs so quickly. Mm -hmm. You know? Definitely. Now, will this SCV get in here? Oh. You're kidding me! Yeah, that's a that's a hard what? one for me to believe. No, look at it, it's still moving inside the base. Our Charlie says he hasn't even moved it. Oh. No, his, his Marines actually walked down the ramp, and then oh. he's like, "Oh wait, is this in here?" So, oh, oh god. my god! Yeah, he's gonna see that there's no starport, and he sees that there's two gases. Like, there, could you could you be in any worse of a position? Yeah, there's there's nothing that this could re <laughs> otherwise be. Um. All right, all right. Well, Cloak is on the way for Maru. He's making a meta back here. Yeah. This is a very is. weird strategy, Artosis. Well, I think he might just be switching it up a little bit because he's not really sure of what. Because he do. got spotted. Yeah. Because let me tell you, something, this is definitely not the strategy. He, was, he, 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 was he going proxy medevac? Was I that the plan? I, 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 want, I was going to say, I want to point out that actually it's faster to have the medevac in your base. <laughs> yeah. And send it than to walk the army across the map to get to the medevac. Well, he actually put a tech lab down on it after making the medevac, so it looks like it's just a drop into Banshee play, but the Banshee for his opponent is going to be out way quicker with Cloak. All right, he's going to have to unload over here. Banshee kites these Marines. Mm -hmm. Always fun to kite at the beach. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I mean, from here, Morrow should just turtle, defend, expand, and play a standard game. Yeah, they, you know... The funny thing is, even though that great scout happened, 
it's not like Maru is some somewhere greatly ahead, and in fact, he's oh, it's he's so down bad. by five SCVs, man. This is so bad. He's got his tech lab spotted here, though. Um, Sorry, he'll save it. Yeah, but still, I mean, that now he knows that this building's in this weird spot on the map. It's a good thing he has those Marines in the medevac where he would have had to <laughs> drop two mules there to repair. Yeah, right. So, um, yep, uh, it looks like uh, Supernova's going to try to normalize this game now. Mm -hmm. And Cloak is done, so Mari moving in. Widowmine does come up, and... Oh! Wow. I think he could have actually gotten that. Oh, yeah, I think so. man. That was kind of funny. Uh, that whole little... Engagement there. He could have killed that, right? The widow mine. I yeah, think. Yeah, I think he actually could have gotten my shot at all. He might have been able to. Yeah. All right. The second banshee's coming in here now. By the way, the turret placement is so good here, mm -hmm. along with that widow mine placement. Actually, supernova is really super safe right now. Yeah, man. Um, and he's not able to quite get close enough to do any damage. He needs to be careful about that widow mine too. By the way. Yeah. You know, if you scan something, that widow mine's just going to shoot you right out of yeah. the sky. All right, um, a failed drop here by Supernova. This is actually a pretty rocky game for both of these guys. It is. You well, know? I mean, this the pressure's on. Whoever wins here is very, in a very good spot. Yeah. Uh, now, driving that Banshee out. Both these guys have tried to attack each other and, and failed miserably. Mm. I mean, like, taking more damage than they damage their opponents, you know? Yeah. Well, looks like this Banshee is... Gonna live fine oh. and have 14 kills. Okay, wasn't expecting that. 14 kills and 14 hit points. This is an alliance map, apparently. <laughs> All right. Wow, uh, they're actually dealing a lot of damage to each other at this point. Uh, not a lot of workers killed, but they both killed a ton of marines. Yeah, they slowed down a lot of structures from finishing. Hmm. Units lost definitely in Maru's favor by almost two times. All right, takes care of that Banshee. Meanwhile, Maru now harassing over here in Supernova's base. It looks like because uh, he's been harassing so much, there's not a lot of Marines here to defend, but the Viking now comes down here and should be able to drive out this Banshee. Not before it kills a whole bunch of SCVs, though. Yeah. Two SCVs die trying to repair a bunker, and, uh, you know, sometimes that can be okay if you have some very crucial units coming out, but... Uh, he just now he's going to deny this reactor. He just scanned with one Viking. Yeah, I know, right? Ooh, Supernova, I think, is beginning to fall apart a little I bit. I have to agree with that. Supernova seems to uh, be choking a little bit here. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh! I'm actually... This is, is one of the had, bumpiest had, games uh, I've casted in a while. I mean, this is like a lot mm. of stuff going wrong for both of these guys early on. Don't worry. Hellbats. Hellbats are out. All right. Hmm... So, Hellbat's out for Supernova. Of course, Maru kind of going down his normal road here. Yeah, um, Maru, um, well, we'll see. You know, It's interesting that they're both having a hard time engaging each other, but they're doing fine defending. <laughs> yeah. You know? Well, uh, you know, for units lost right now, it's still twice in the favor of uh, Maru. You know, he's he's yeah. actually just killed so much more than Supernova. Has. I think the question is, can Morrow use this? Uh, he's doing it again, by the way. The the mass bio. Mm. Uh, can he make that be effective on this map? That's probably not a very good map for bio. This meta needs to be careful because there are fireworks going off over here. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Fireworks do splash damage, not a lot. But <laughs> <laughs> if you're an uh, armored unit, you should be fine. So I guess the meta back's okay. All right, now dropping it over here. And no use to get these Marines. He's going to get these SCVs as well. Yeah, getting absolutely everything there. Wow, that was super, super effective. And suddenly, look at the supply. Supernova in the lead by 10. Yeah. He gets another drop off like that. He's going to be in great shape. Whoa. Another nice shot there. I'm not even sure how many more workers he killed. Yeah. A failed scan here. Um, oh, excuse me. He goes right back into that scan. No problem. It's the firefighter Banshee right there. <laughs> And again, this Banshee might most, actually get away. Most Banshees run away from a scan. Maru's Banshees run through it. <laughs> well, so I can leave either side, right? I'm like, yeah, but you're closer to this side. He's like, nah, the CV's fine. over there. <laughs> so uh, we have another Hellbat drop coming up here. And we have this many Hellbats. If he doesn't get the SCVs out right away, it could be bad. Yeah, oh my god. That could be a lot of SCVs going down. And, well, Supernova's killed 14 workers at this point. Ooh, grabs a few mules there. That's pretty painful as well. Wow. And he actually got I out can't with believe one medevac. We're actually seeing this expansion get taken on this map. Yeah. He's expanding that tiny little island down there. Yeah. All right, the Banshee. 
<laughs> Cloak a little bit later. He's like, oh, what hit me? <laughs> Cloak. I'm under attack. It must be Marines. No, it's nope. not. It's, it's Widowmine. <laughs> it's interesting, actually. Um, I wonder how long it's going to be um, if that expansion's actually spotted. Because yeah. people, people do not go to that bottom right part. Wouldn't it be funny if, like, Maru just decided, I'm going to do a sneak attack on his expansion by going down this little road. <laughs> and then he finds it. It could happen. It could. Because all the rest of their expansions in the upper left are just, they're all so close together. It's mm -hmm. not like you can really hide one up there. No, it's very crowded up there. No, well, it's going to take a while, though, I think, for Supernova to actually secure his third. Because he has to have a lot of mech. Well, That's his a very wide open third. His third's actually very hard to, 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 to hold. Yeah. Even though it looks like it's close, it's actually still very, and you, very hard to hold. You have to be careful where you seed your tanks down there, because do you want them to get rusty? No. No. So you're going to want them on the beach, but then they're going to have sand in their treads. Yeah, yeah, this is a problem. At least one nerd on the internet that doesn't get sarcasm is like, is that true? <laughs> He's like, isn't this a balanced map then? <laughs> Why is it in a professional tournament? They're probably tweeting at us right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. That's weird, isn't know, it's, it? It's weird, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to write Blizzard an email. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so, Medivac now coming out again. Uh, we're still waiting for Maru to get his third base up. Actually, as I say that, we see the command center going over there now. You know what's kind of funny is there's been like endless cloaked banshees coming out of Maru. I really wonder how many he's actually made this game because he only has two. <laughs> That's actually a good still. point. I've lost count. He has two medevacs total because he's made so many banshees. Yeah, and he made a Viking as well. So, Oop. force that out. Looks like he might try to weave around. Nope. No. Outmaneuvered again there by Maru. I'm gonna go and ahead and scout this stage. Yeah. Ooh, the first guy at the StarCraft tournament. He's like, oh my god, look at that vulture micro. Oh, a banshee! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, we have uh, a little bit of downtime here. I mean, it's 136 blight and 123. There's not much to really say for you guys, except that they're both in just defensive position, not attacking each other. I think this game's kind of calmed down mm. from what it was early on, which was a lot of failed attacks. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Well, the more it calms down, the more it favors Supernova, because he has that ninja third base. That's very true. And, oh, right. oh, oh, oh! Wow. He needs to target those SCDs. And... You know what's funny about that? The angle that that was dropped in, and the way that the SCDs are moving while they're being hit, mm -hmm. they, uh, Hellbat didn't quite do as much damage no. to the group as they were supposed to. Oh my god, the base got spotted. Yeah, Banshee did decide to finally go down and check, but not before he stole a lot of gas there. That's true. Drilling off the post is very <laughs> valuable. All right, and now Maru's going to move out. And by the way, Maru's supply is superior, and that's the way it should be with Bio versus Mech. You're yeah. usually up in supply. If Supernova just chooses to take a stand right here on the beach, could be a bit difficult. But the thing is, there are some seed shanks coming with Maru, so the contain would be really hard to break out of as well. So he may actually want to take a stand on the beach. All right, Steam coming in here now. And let's see if the Hellbats now dropping down on the Bio Army. They will be uh, soaking up a lot of the damage that the Bio Army can deal. But he's still managing to move forward right now. Wow, and all the mech just completely cleaned up here. Supernova Supply falling down to just about nothing. 80 against 135. I think this is a similar situation to game number one. Yeah. GG, that's it. Okay. Well. This is a weird series. All right. Maru is looking pretty set, man. He, he only is. has Kongo left to play. At this rate, I wouldn't be shocked if he beats Kongo. Yeah. Well, good job for him. Using Bio Tank. Uh, he, I don't know if he used any of the new units. I think he uh, Widow Mine once or twice. He forgot to buy the expansion pack, Heart of the Swarm. He was stuck on Wings of Liberty yeah. version. The other guy had extra units and everything Prime like that. Prime House only has so many copies. <laughs> <laughs> Maru's the youngest, so he didn't get one. <laughs> well, um, that's pretty cool. Maru uh, doing better and better. I really wonder, you know, in a year or two, how how solid Maru's going to be because this guy's so young. It's not like he has to join the military yet. In case you're watching at home, you don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. There's compulsory military service. Uh, for all able-bodied male Koreans, so but mm. and that's when a lot of pro gaming careers end. But this guy's so young. Oh yeah, no, he has that, forever. Even yeah. players that have been pros for five, six years still have a long road ahead of yeah. them. You can defer it quite a bit so that your career doesn't get ruined. Exactly. So a sad moment here for Supernova. He was playing so well a little while ago, and now he's been taken out by Mario. But he is one-one. Yes, with his alfalfa hair. He's got a little cockatiel hair there. Yeah, taken up. 
Uh, you know what? He still has good chances in this group. Yeah, he still has a shot. Mm -hmm. That is the prime coach right there. I'd say one of the best coaches, actually. Yeah, uh, there is for StarCraft. Team. Always around with his players. Yeah, very hands-on guy. Very handsome guy. Very handsome guy. Um, well, we did it. We had a lot of upsets today. A lot of upsets. Yeah. And uh, recommend that best of three that Hiva was playing, and that was. <laughs> Should they? Really? Yeah. You got, you got. If you didn't see it, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but it was sick. <laughs> Definitely sick. check that out. It was sick. It was frail. It was feeble. It was, <laughs> it was feverish. Yeah. <laughs> the three Fs. Yes. Uh, wow. So Mara wins. A really cool flash loss today. Yeah. That's weird. This is a well, good recap of what happened. Yeah, man. Ooh, this guy won. This guy this lost. This guy lost. Parting lost. Symbol won. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Supernova lost. I. You know, it's kind of weird because when Supernova was moving out... He just like, it was kind of like StarCraft 101, like you've got to have a solid enough army uh, to secure the third base, and he just you know, couldn't do it. Maybe he thought that they were a little bit closer in supply for, from all the harass damage he had done, but yeah. it just was not the case, so he does fall there. And as a result, guys, Symbol 2-1 over Parting, Bomber 2-0 over Flash, Hiva 2-1 over Fantasy, and Maru 2-1 over Supernova. Yeah. And of course, uh, as you see here, the results so far by groups to get a better overlook of where people are at. Yeah. Mom are doing very well. And you can so actually see innovation. some people have already advanced. Uh, as of today, it looks like Soul Key is 100% through. Yep. Uh, still a possibility for a three-way tie with the other guys. Uh, and in the other group, we had uh, a couple players already advancing, Innovation and Bomber. And then we have actually... Looks like a very interesting group. Group C, not yet confirmed. And Group D, not yet completely confirmed. Oh, wait, actually, in Group D, I'm, I'm like trying to do this math in my head right now. Because you have to have a... Actually, already first and Maru are out, I believe. I'm pretty I sure they both so. already advanced. I think so. You can't have... Oh, wait, no. There's still possibilities for ties. I'm sorry. There can be three two ones or three one twos in... Oh, that's actually uh, both those possible. groups. Yeah. So there's still possibilities for ties. Uh, so they they are not 100 percent out, but they're in really really good shape. Yeah. The stars have to align, like you know, and become supernovas. And <laughs> not for that supernova that we just saw, though. No, no. Um, well, like this is a fun day today. Um, I really enjoyed uh, oh. these games, and well, it looks like that right. tie is already decided. If there's a tie, it's at the bottom, not at the top. All right. So uh, our advanced. next match here, we're gonna have. Parting versus Sulky, Young against Flash, Hiva <laughs> against First, and Trap against Supernova. All right, those are going to be some very nice matches. Uh, I'm really excited about that first one in Group A, man. Well, I'm very excited about First and Group C because I can't wait to see what he does to Hiva. Yeah, right. He's going to like he's going to Dexter Hiva, man. He's going to Saran wrap him to his base and just destroy him with Zealot Cyblades. <laughs> I really want to see what Hiva does there. First. Because. <laughs> what, what, what? Well, Hiva, as you said, Taste is, is evil. So. He's the evil man. <laughs> evil one today. Yeah. Um, man, uh, really fun games, though, today. So, uh, guys, thank you so much for joining us. It's been a real treat to cast these games for you. Uh, we will be back on Tuesday, same time, same place, here at GoomTV.net. I'm like, it, oh, yeah, today's Thursday. You're it's right. Thursday, yeah. Tuesday it is. Uh, so, that does it it's for today's. <laughs> so that does it for today's cast. Thank you again for watching us. We love you. Good night. I see it every time that I'm walking around.